Today also marks 23 years since the September 11th terror attacks on the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and American Aviation. There are several events happening across our state to honor the nearly 3,000 people who were killed that tragic day, including 161 people from Connecticut. The Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge in New Haven will be lit up in red, white, and blue tonight in recognition of the victims and their families. And the Connecticut Fire Academy is also remembering the lives lost on 9-11 as the terrorist attacks continue to impact first responders to this day. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler explains. No matter how much time passes, the morning of September 11th will always be somber. I was a senior in high school uh, when 9-11 happened, and uh, we watched uh, in the classroom uh, as the events unfolded that day. For firefighter recruit Justin Bialecki, he recalls the day as terrible, but at the same time inspiring. Recognizing uh, the sacrifices uh, that those first responders made and that um, and realizing the uh, depths and, and, and the profession that you're going into. It. Two decades later and each year we say two simple words, never forget. Bialecki says now he's navigating how to talk to his two young children about that gut-wrenching day. I think it's important and um, to, to bring up difficult topics and, and talk about it in an age-appropriate way so that going forward the sacrifices of those first responders isn't forgotten. Oh, the land. To ensure the day isn't forgotten, the Connecticut Fire Academy held a 9-11 memorial at their headquarters in Windsor Locks. We have a uh, piece of steel which was salvaged from the wreckage of September 11th in the Trade Towers. Of the nearly 3,000 people who died during 9-11, 161 of them have ties to Connecticut. The number of people who have since died due to 9-11 related illnesses continues to grow. The director of training for the Connecticut Fire Academy says now is the time to focus on two things. I think funding and mental health support to make sure that they have everything that they need from their medical insurance coverage to other costs that may uh, come up for themselves and their family. If you want to go to our state's official memorial site, you can go to the Sherwood Island State Park in Westport. On a clear, sunny day like today, you can see the skyline of Manhattan, where those two twin towers once lived. If you would like a full list of events going on across our state, you can head to the WFSB News app. In Windsor Locks, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.